Hello, welcome to the Whip Public Library Spring Adventure Walk here at Darlington Provincial Park. I'm super excited to go on a beautiful walk today. If you didn't already know, you can get an Ontario Parks Pass through the Whitby Public Library. All you have to do is go online to our website and put it into our search bar and put a hold on it. We are still doing contactless pickup, but we're always here for you guys to answer any of your questions. So make sure to give us a call or an email if you have any questions or concerns. Before we head on our beautiful walk, there's quite a few things that we need before we get going. First of all, it's great to dress for the weather. Today it's beautiful and sunny. So I did bring my hat and I put lots of sunscreen on. So make sure to do that before you come. But if it's raining, maybe a raincoat might be a good idea. And don't forget to bring nice comfy shoes to walk in because you don't want your feet to hurt. Now, of course, what else should we bring? Well, I think we should definitely bring some activities. I have my handy dandy backpack here with me. So let's see what kind of activities we have for you guys today. So I have made us a nature bingo. So if you want to find this, the link is going to be in the description down below. And that goes for anything that I say throughout this video. All the information will be in the description box. So just make sure to check there. Okay, let's see what else we have. Okay, so I've also brought along the CBC's scavenger hunt. This is a spring and scavenger hunt. There's lots of things to, to find, to look for, to smell, to see, to listen to. So this is a really great scavenger hunt. Again, the link will be in the description below. And the final one that I have brought with me today is just this beautiful little edible plant guide, just to give us a little idea of what things are edible and what's in about edible throughout the forest as we go through. And of course, who would I be but not a librarian if I didn't bring some really amazing books with me to the to my walk just to give me some extra information that I might need. Let's see what I have in my bag. I have The Adventures uh, in Edible Plant Foraging by Karen Monger. So this is a really great book. They kind of tell us how to make things that we find in our land. And let's see what else we have. Ooh, I have a family foraging guide as well so you and your family members can all forage. And finally, I have, what's that tree? So this one's super great, it's a beginner's guide to kind of tell you what kind of different trees we have here in our forests, okay? And don't forget, it always helps to have a magnifying glass. You never know when you want to get up close and personal with some of the nature. So we're almost ready to go on our adventure walk. Now, of course, we're going to bring lots of water because we want to stay hydrated. So I have that in my backpack as well. And if you're ready to go, let's get started. There's some beautiful trails and lots of nature to see. So I'll see you out on the hike, okay? Let's head on in. We're here today at the Burke Trail at the Darlington Park. So let's get started. Now it's always lots of fun to bring our beautiful friendly friends with us on our walks, but make sure you keep them on a leash. Now that we have a beautiful pupper with us, we can mark it off on our nature bingo. Yay! Can we see? Yep, yep. Is that an oak tree? I wonder if we can find an acorn for our nature bingo. Hey, here we are. We're gonna look for our acorns. It's one of our many things on our nature bingo. Now I wonder, how's the best way to find an oak? Well, this time of year, all of the buds are coming out. So we can look around on our floor here in the forest and we can look for leaves. So this right here is an oak leaf. So it's very special because of the way that it grows. Do you see that? That's a super nice leaf. Now let's see if we can find any acorns on the ground. Oh, here we go, an acorn. We can finally cross it off on our bingo. Yay! So behind me, can anybody guess what this tree is? Well, it's a birch tree. The best way to tell if it's a birch tree is by its bark. Can you see it curling off like that? This is the best stuff to make fires with. It's a beautiful fire starter because of the natural oils in the bark. Now, one thing to remember with birch bark is you never pull it off of the tree. You only take it off of the ground like this because we wanna make sure that our beautiful trees don't lose their natural bark. 
And if you're starting a fire, make sure that you have an adult with you. Do you know that this is a deciduous tree? And deciduous trees mean that they lose their leaves every fall. So right now you can see that there are no leaves on this tree. And you know what that also means? We can cross it off on our nature bingo. Deciduous tree down. Now can anybody guess what the opposite of a deciduous tree is? Well, let's find out next. Okay, so does anybody know what kind of tree is behind me right now? You can kind of tell by the needles. It's a pine tree, a beautiful pine tree. Now, what's the difference between this tree and a deciduous tree? Does anybody know? You know what it is? They're called coniferous trees, and that means that they have cones. So their seeds are in a little cone. I wonder, do you think we can find a pine cone underneath this tree for our, our bingo? Let's take a look. I think I found one. Here we go. A nice pine cone. So we can finally cross it off on our list. Perfect. We're getting awfully close. So here we are again. We've got another one of our nature bingo items. We've got dandelions everywhere. It's bright and spring and yellow. So today we have lots of beautiful dandelions growing so we can cross that off our bingo as well. Good job. It's kind of hard to see, but if you watch very carefully, you can see a turkey vulture flying in circles. Remember when you're out here for a beautiful adventure walk to always stay hydrated. So we're gonna take a quick break and we're gonna drink some water. Can anybody guess what tree is behind me right now? It's a sugar maple and sugar maples are super great because they are what you tap in the spring to make maple syrup. And we all love maple syrup here, right? Can anybody guess what kind of tree this is? You're right, it's a deciduous tree. That means it loses its leaves every fall. Good job, everybody. Let's go find another thing on our bingo. If you're following along on your CBC scavenger hunt, one of the many things that you can find in this great outdoors is lichen or moss, which you can find on a tree just behind me. There's lots of great things to find out in the wilderness. What can you find? Now, what do we see here? We have a be big, beautiful fallen tree, or better yet, a log so we can cross that off of our bingo and hmm, what else do i see do you see all of these growths on the tree right here we'll get nice and close to show you these guys are mushrooms And that means that we can cross another thing off our nature bingo, which is mushrooms. Now you're gonna leave these mushrooms on the tree. These are not to be taken off. We can leave them to continue growing and to bring nice, beautiful things to our nature. I think I found another one on our list. We're looking for animal tracks and I found a perfect little puppy paw. Can you see it right here? We got one, two, three, four little toes and a beautiful little pad. Okay, so does anybody know what I have behind me right here? So this beautiful red plant is called a dogwood. And if you didn't know this, back when it was the pioneers, they used to use these to brush their teeth before we had toothbrushes and toothpaste. It's very good to clean off that plaque and you might recognize it from your grown-ups using in their beautiful Christmas display. So right now we can see the beautiful buds of the leaf blooming. So we know it's alive and ready to go for spring and summer. What a beautiful plant.
Now that it's beautiful spring, the cattails are blooming and coming apart. And once they're ready, they will spread their seeds by blowing all over the place. And that's why they all look so fluffy right now. So you can take a feel. It kind of feels a little bit like rough cotton. What a beautiful sight to see. Okay, can you guys see what's behind me? Does that look like water? I think we can cross it off on our bingo because it is one of our options, body of water. What do you think that is? That looks like it's Lake Ontario. Yay! Can everybody see the squirrel? He's right over here. Just through these branches you can see a red squirrel. We don't usually get to see many of these in the city. And that's one more for our bingo card. Well, we've had a nice long walk and it's such a beautiful day out here and we have yet another thing that is growing in spring which is our lovely green grass that we're sitting on. So we can mark it off on another one of our bingos. Okay. What a wonderful walk we had. And finally, I found the last thing to complete my bingo, a big rock. And we have lots of beautiful big rocks in our nature and we found a pretty big one. What do you guys think? So I can cross that off on my bingo. And what do we say? Bingo! Thank you guys so much for joining me on this beautiful walk here at Darlington Park. I hope that you head on over to our programs and services page to see what else we have to offer this beautiful summer. I know we're going to be doing a summer adventure walk as well, so keep a lookout for that. And we hope to see you guys in the future, okay? Bye! Thank you guys so much for joining me on my spring adventure walk. For more of our programs and services, head over to whitbylibrary.ca to view our newsletter, or you can check out more of our lovely programs right here on YouTube. Make sure to subscribe, and to find any of the information you found in this video, it'll be linked below. Thank you so much, and happy spring!